Shout out to Becky Vanderdeen for sending me this particular story right here. As you all know, this is none other than the incompetent Renee Hall. Every time I do a video about her, it is nothing good. Never. And this story right here that I'm about to bring to you, it kind of brightens my day a little bit because my sentiments line up with the people who feel um, the exact way I do. And I don't even live in the state of Texas. And I will be on their side when it comes to this. So there is this law enforcement organization that wants Renee Hall removed her position as the police chief because they claim she is way in over her head. Now, I don't really side with the law enforcement on just about anything, but I will side with them on this because this woman is way in over her head. I mean, from the mishandling with the Amber Geiger Botham John situation which is where how we discovered her and how she was completely naive to when that black woman got beat up by that white guy outside of that um in that parking lot a couple months ago claiming she didn't know about it but it was right outside her jurisdiction and i do mean right outside of her jurisdiction renee hall reminds me reminds me of that receptionist that works in a um that works in, maybe in some kind of an office building an office setting and you call or you ask her a question and, and she puts you on hold to get back onto her phone conversation with a girlfriend to discuss last night's episode of Love and Hip Hop. That's how I see Renee Hall. Like, that's probably one of the best ways to describe her. And I wouldn't be surprised if she um watched Love and Hip Hop, to be quite honest. But let me go ahead and read this article coming from 21 CBS DFW. Harsh words and a public call Wednesday for the immediate removal of Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall by a number of her officers. Now, these aren't citizens or civilians. These are people who work in the department with her who want her removed. Sounds like they got the same grievance with her that we do. The National Latino Law Enforcement Organization Dallas chapter is calling their boss incompetent. Now, look at that. National Latino Law Enforcement. Latino. And they called her incompetent. The group says it represents 1,400 of the department's 900 officers. During a news conference, that's, shoot, that's almost, uh, that's damn near half. Um, during a news conference Wednesday, the association said Chief Hall is in over her head and should step down or be fired by city manager T.C. Broadnax. I vote for the latter. The officer who led the association cited a number of incidents, including the recent spike in violent crime and the chief's controversial comments about it. They say Chief Hall showed soon after she was hired in 2017 that did not have the officer's best interest and in by demoting well like assistant chiefs by posing for a photo with a community activist whose downtown march in 2016 led to the deadly July 7th ambush. That's the one they're talking about with um, Micah Johnson. They say she disgraced the department by posing gangster style for a local magazine article and ignored policies by taking sides against officers in the Amber Geiger shooting of Botham John. She's in over her head, said George Aranda of NLLEO. She fails to listen to rank and file. She doesn't want to take any advice from the organization. I mean, we are the pulse of the police department. When police chiefs don't play, don't play well with associations, the associations go on attack, said Terrence Hopkins, president of the Black Police Association. I do my business a totally different way. My job is to work with the chief of police and to make the city make in the city to make this thing better. The civil rights groups that backs Chief Hall calls this a calculated attack. And um, it says here's the full statement from the Black Police Association. Um, it says, uh, the Black Police Association of Greater Dallas is firm and unwavering in its support of Police Chief Hall. It, to be honest, I don't even want to feel like reading all of this, because to be quite honest, I don't care what they have to say. This woman is incompetent. She just is. And they feel like that, that she's being gained up on and everything like that. I'm sure they have a lot of stuff to back up their claims. I mean, like I said, the Botham John situation with Amber Geiger and that woman who got beat up by that guy in that parking lot. 
two main ones right there. At first, I thought maybe she just had a disdain for black men, but when she acted the way she did with uh the 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 um the woman, I said, "Oh, this woman just has a disdain for black people." Period. And let me pull up a picture right quick. This is the picture they're talking about where they said she was taking a gangster style picture for a magazine. This is the image right here. Now, mind you, this is a woman who is the police chief. And to be honest, she was what you call one of those historical figureheads. And the reason why I say that is because I think she was the first black female police chief for that area. And it just looks like they're doing that. Um, it's just for historical purposes. Like she's just there, you know, fulfilling a historical, I guess, moment without actually doing what she's supposed to be doing. Now, if you have complaints like that from an organization that is 1,400 out of the 2,900 that are there, then there's a problem. And this is coming from within the department. But yeah, I never liked Renee Hall. Like every time, like I said, every time I talk about her, there's an issue. True Royal Family, whenever she does videos talking about the Botham John situation or Lisa Cabrera, and 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 uh Renee Hall has to come up, it's the same tone in their voice as well. We all have a disdain for her, and we are not the only ones. So, yes, I do believe she should be removed. Just on how she mishandled that, those two cases I mentioned. And it makes you wonder how what else has she mishandled? Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.